as we look at the start list for the boys 3000 meters the only final to this evening which has as its alumni no other than steve cram 16 men in this field championship record 80906 by elzen bibic from Serbia, from Tbilisi. Good run that from Bibic. I remember it just tore away from the rest of the field. Once the gun goes, I'll give you the full 16 man lineup. So, Keenan Leonard from Great Britain, Northern Ireland. Niklasian of Denmark, Kavanka, Italy. Amaktan, Turkey. Makinen, Finland. Guerra, Italy. Gaudia, Israel. Milan de la Olivi from Sweden. Erdman, Germany, Tashki, Turkey, Ostal, Denmark, Humaset, Norway, Osting from the Netherlands, Bresic, France, and a man who's going to get plenty of cheers, the 15-year-old Hungarian, Akos, Jetanai. So to the front, it's Milan de la Oliva. I have a feeling you might have some Spanish roots in there with a name like that. Oliva number nine on the European under 18 list with the best of 8.29.47. And he's making it quick. The Wagner of Italy just behind him at this stage. The two Britons, highly favoured to be on the podium, taking it steadily. Long way back in about 11th and 12th position at the moment. Well, the Finn, I'd say the Swede, not hanging around. Well, it's established about a 15 meter lead after just 600 meters. Emil Milan de la Oliva. <laughs> Longest event on the track for this age group. Oliva set his personal best in the Solentuna Grand Prix recently. Also has some good credentials over 1500 meters as well. It's got a bit of a decent finish as well. Well, this is very ostentatious running at this stage. Make it about 20, 25 meters lead at this stage. Well, maybe even a little bit more, maybe stretching it to 30 meters. Well, the temperatures are just dropping a bit. It's becoming very overcast very quickly here. So keep an eye on the skies as well as on the track. Well, that's about 30 meters, 252.93. So he's on 8.35 pace at this stage. So he's operating at a pace that he can handle without a doubt. Now, what's going through the minds of the rest of them? Two Italians, Cavagna. And Guerra at the front. Keen and Leonard have worked their way through to get to the front of the chasing pack. Well, behind them, considering it's 8.45 pace almost, nobody's in any real trouble at the moment. Now, Keen starting to pull the pack along, increase the pace of the chasing group. Well, it's still... Milanda Oliva romping away with this. Four laps to go. At the end of this bend, it'll be at the halfway point in this race. And Keane's looking around. Erdman comes up now to help with the pace at the front of the chasing pack. But it's still Emil Milanda Oliva running his own personal time trial. 
and the rest are not closing him down whatsoever. Well, this would be a sensation if he ran away with this. Erdmann, the fairly tall German, much shorter figure of Bresk of France. His baseball cap reversed, more of a golf cap, really. And they're not making any inroads into Milan de Oliva's lead at the moment. A good 50 meters. I think the spectator we saw is thinking what the rest of us are. What's going on here? Well, Erdman and Keane are the two men at the front of the chasing pack. Very diminutive figure of Adisu Guardia of Israel also in there. Guardia, an 8.39 man at best. Well, they're just coming up to the two two kilometer point. Get a check on the times. I can only think that some of the other runners in this field, like Keane and Leonard, the two highly favored Brits, are thinking that they've got the ability to haul him in over the final kilometer. In fact, they are making some inroads into that lead. Well, we didn't get a complete 2K split there, but unofficially it was about 5.54. So not a fast pace at all. A lot of this pack are running well within themselves, but with two laps to go, inexorably, the pace behind is being cranked up. The two Turks, Tashki and Amaktan, along with Erdman, reeling in and also in there, Thomas Keane. Erdman starting to slip back a little bit. As Milan de la Levie Oliva starting to struggle, but it's Amaktan now. Amaktan, very useful runner. Fourth fastest in this field at 8.21.35, a personal best. The 17 year old Turk. Keen now coming around the outside of Amaktan. Well, they can see the lap marker. They're going to hear the bell in a moment. And now it's the second Turk, Tashki, coming round to take the lead. But now Thomas Keane gets in front and starts really winding up the pace. So it's Great Britain, Turkey, Turkey. Hosting the Dutch runner in fourth at the moment, but he's long away to make up on the two Turks in front of him if he's to get on the podium. It's Keen still working very hard, 200 meters to go, followed by the two Turks, Tashki and Amaktan. Tashki, the much smaller of the two. Amaktan now coming round to take the silver medal position, but he's looking as though Thomas Keen is streaking away to take the gold. Well, Amaktan's trying to make inroads, but also coming up well. Austin gets in front of Tashki for the bronze. So Thomas Keane ran a tactically very astute race. He's run faster. He's run more than 13 seconds faster in his life, but that was a tactically astute race, and he had all the tools to become the European under-18 champion. Terrific last lap from the man from Cambridge. Silver medal will go to Omer Amaktan. And the bronze, perhaps a surprise bronze, Ryan Oosting from the Netherlands, who ran a very good last lap himself, came from a long way back to grab third place in that race. So a big personal best for the Dutchman to get that bronze. That would be a very nice feeling for him. As always, a quick recap on the race. 
Well, you have to admire the courage of Emil Milan de la Villa. <laughs> really worked very, very hard indeed. Just looking down at the times, in the end, the Swede was only a couple of seconds outside his best. Perhaps he knew he didn't have any finish and just trying to do the best he can. Keane has the luxury of easing up in the final few metres. That'll be a picture that appears in athletics magazines around Europe. A sheer delight and amazement of Keane. And there was a little bit of pressure on him, without a doubt. He was Europe's top runner over this distance in this age group. Good four seconds faster than anybody else. But he delivered when it counted. Omar Amaktan. Well, not a personal best for the Turk. He's actually ran about seven seconds quicker. But it was a personal best for Ryan Oosting. 8.28.22. Down in ninth. Rather disappointing run from Rory Leonard, but uh, he's a quality runner. I'm sure he'll come back on another occasion to prove his talent.